Hey guys, so this is the part one of the cherry tomato and this is a dwarf cherry tomato and this is the column that these are all cherry tomatoes. I did notice a little bit of growth this morning right there. However, it just, it grows like a weed. Um, literally it's seven o'clock this morning and right now it is about two o'clock, almost two o'clock. Um, you can see if you peep on top of it, it looked like this, but even more hidden. It was like that this morning, and then about five, six hours later, look at how much it's already grown. I'm so excited to um, watch these pods grow, and there's another one. Um, I, uh, I think I just sewed this in, I would say, less than a week ago. I would say, let's see, today... Four, no, five days ago, and it's already started to sprout. And don't worry, uh, the seeds, um, all the stuff that I'm using with this, the 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 dome, the heat pad, the plantlets, all that good stuff, I will link down below. So this is the first video that I did of this particular um, this particular plant or plants. Um, these are cherry tomatoes right here. This is basil, and I do have vlogs of this, and I do update them occasionally. Um, this is the same as this, and this, and so this particular, this entire row, right, or column right here, these are all tomatoes. Here is probably going to be spinach, because my spinach seeds are on their way, and when that happens, I will do a vlog of that as well, and I will do updates of that as well on what's going on. Again, it this system really does work and I have tried different brands, I have tried different kinds and it just this is the one that always 100% work for me. Um some of these seeds, I mean, they're not really sometimes I buy seeds and you know, the reviews are like sometimes it's really bad like oh it's never germinated for me all that good stuff. This always germinates for me, and I think it's the system. I think it's the environment you put them in. It's You can't really guarantee a seed is going to germinate unless you have the perfect environment for them. And because I have this dome, which has a, uh, a roof on top, and you have vents there when it is bigger and a certain size, you can keep the vents open, but if they're this small or they haven't even grown yet, it's always suggested to keep it closed so that you keep on the humidity and there's constant condensation. So it's 24 hours always humid in here. It's never dry. Um, I just, oh, I just, what I did with these is I, um, I dipped them in the water below, which is a supplement in water uh, for enhancing or encouraging root growth. I dipped it in that completely and then I put the seeds on and um, I took some, uh, I used a spoon and I just dipped the spoon in there and then poured the same thing over them just to kind of recycle all of that stuff. Um, I do change the water about one to two weeks. You don't need to do that, but sometimes I kind of just want to do that. I feel like the supplement might have evaporated already or might have been used completely. So minimum probably or, you know, yeah, the shortest time is probably one to two weeks. Sometimes it's a little bit more before I change it. So far, since having the lilies, um, I, I probably changed the water about four or five, six times. Since having the basil, probably about four or five times, maybe three times. With this, I haven't really changed the water. Um, and that is because it's only been here less than a week. Um, like I said, the only reason I try to change it is like something kind of happened. Um, and there was a time in which my husband was putting different seeds in here. If you watch all of the vlogs that I did for the basil, there was a mango seed, there was a pawpaw seed, and they were rotting. They were literally molding, so I had to wash everything and change the water. And that was the reason why I had to change it so frequently and only in the past what now like two months um again you don't really need to do that um it's just my personal preference i just kind of believe like at a certain point the supplement has really kind of um 
evaporated in a sense so I want to keep on going with that and that's why I uh, dumped the water and I replaced it if you are not if you are not or you don't want to add any kind of root enhancement or encouraging root growth you don't need to change the water um, is there a difference between me putting a supplement now than what I've done before because this is my first year doing a supplement yes I have noticed that it before you would see maybe one or two or a one or two seeds sprout and it does take shorter um times to germinate and maybe a few days not really significantly however um i believe the longer i'm going to keep this in the more the root the roots are going to just expand more but i we will see once i'm going to transplant the basil or the to, uh, tomatoes and when that happens we're all going to experience it together and how much the root growth really has been so you can see how much the supplement really did work and that is my current supplement i'm kind of thinking um if there's anything better out there let me know i'm very curious i mean i'm always looking for something better what isn't right so anyway, this is it, and this is the part one of the plant vlog for my tomatoes. Again, this is a cherry tomato, and it's sweet, and also it's a dwarf. It's supposed to only be one foot in height, so I'm glad about that because I'm keeping this indoors all year round um, with the plant light all, all year round. So thank you guys, and I'll see you guys again on the update of this, um, these these plants right here which are tomatoes thanks guys oh before i forget which i almost did forget um if you haven't yet i hope you hit the subscribe button the bell and the like button and also if you have any questions comments suggestions that i didn't cover let me know down below and i will be very very happy to answer any of those um questions or you just want to talk about plants i love that i can talk about plants all day every day so there you have it thanks guys and i'll see you guys again next time bye